let's head out to the land that time forgot. Yes, where tofu uh, is still a staple there. They scoop it out of the ground. It's that's just the way it comes. Not a chance of fly. Where dinosaurs and Chevy Sauruses and Chrysler Sauruses rot in the front yards. Mm -hmm. The home of the longest continuous burning tire fire where they do actually have a prank-style telephone now. We're talking about Silver Springs, Nevada, on line four. We have Aaron. Hey, Aaron, what's up, man? You know, 30-some-odd years ago, I tried tofu before all the soybeans in this country were GMO-produced. I puked then. I puked yeah. at the side of that stuff. Yeah. I do not know how any human being could... I, I, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but... That stuff is worse than ground up meat stuffs off the floor squeezed into a tube. Okay, I'm sorry. It just that is one of the most disgusting food items that anybody ever came up with, and I just don't understand the infatuation with it. Unbelievable. So you're trying to, to say hello real quick, yeah. huh? So you're trying to say you don't like it. You're not a big fan of tofu, huh? Um. I believe there's a round can, there's a commode somewhere just waiting to gobble that stuff up, and it's not going to be me. Okay. I, no, I, there is absolutely no. That is just, mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it reminds me of somebody eating boogers. I'm sorry. Um, it's just really gross stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> I got to say hello this morning to my drop dead gorgeous friend, Tim Savage, back there in Virginia, Liz down in South Africa. Hey, on the GMO front here, on, on the Monsanto Tribunal, NBC News did, uh, reported last Friday, this is a first in history, seven bees have been placed on the endangered species list for uh, the, uh, the U.S. Department of Wildlife, Fish, and Game. So uh, this issue, uh, and I, I, I can never say this right, neotonics, I believe is the type of insecticide, and that's a systemic thing where you mix it in your water and you water your plants, and then the bugs come mm -hmm. eat the plant and die. die yeah. uh, that is that's why our, we're having problems um, with the bees. Um, but one of the things over the last couple of days, I've been talking to feedlots. Uh, I even talked to a couple of bakers, but Windswept Acres, a place called Bex, they're a non-GMO seed. They're a nationwide, little regional place in the Midwest. Foothill Feed here locally, Windswept Acres out in Silver Springs, they have all, all these places are reporting increases in requests and demands for non-GMO food and seeds for their customers. Um, Foothill Feed has reported, they told me their monthly sales in the past year have risen 1,500%. That's huge. Yeah. People wanting organic grains and feed for their horses. And they are specifically asking for non-GMO alfalfa and oats. Um, when, when I spoke with a couple bakers on this here, uh, and, and this, I stumbled onto this. Uh, I was talking to somebody and they said, you know, flour has gotten funny, blah, blah, blah. And I got to talking to them for a little bit. They are now purchasing flour to make their breads that is not that uh, uh, glyphosate is not part of the harvesting process because they have noticed such a huge difference in the breads that they're making with the, the flowers versus conventionally harvested flowers. Um, they, they started noticing this approximately 10 years ago, this one baker told me, and, and he was like, you know, just really puzzled so he started looking around he found out the glyphosate was used in the harvesting process mm -hmm. and it that was how it bypassed a regulatory committee harvesting process that was the phrase used to get glyphosate to be bypassed any kind of testing or anything for for the deal um well, I, uh, no, this no, morning no, hold, that? hang on here you're throwing a lot out there uh, how do you know that the alfalfa you're getting is non-gmo unless you've keep Absolutely. kept all the all the bees well wait a minute though but the bees and stuff and the and the insects that come in i mean don't they bring stuff from other fields into the fields where there's um uh alfalfa and don't the, the bug biggest issue going on 
Okay, well, the animals, the pollination, the contamination, yeah. Yeah, animals come in, they eat, they poop, and then that goat becomes fertilizer, and that grows the next crop. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just curious at how you can keep it, how you can keep it that way. You know, I, man, I, yeah. You, that, that, that's an excellent question, and, and this is one of the biggest issues uh, uh, that that are going on, that goes on out there between the GMO farmer and the conventional farmer, if you will. Mm -hmm. the, the GMO guy next door, he's polluting the organic guy next door because there's stuff like you're saying, the bugs come over, the animals move, the sure. birds do stuff. They don't. They and, don't. Uh, uh, and, and don't think. Ladies and gentlemen, do not think for one minute the scientists at Monsanto did not and do not understand that and know that. They know that the wind is going to blow the pollen into the field next door and that GMO farmer has been polluted and he can no longer be certified organic. They yeah, know I, that and they knew it going in. Yeah, so, I, I think that's um, an issue with uh, every product. I mean, unless you can create some kind of yeah. dump to keep it from, you know, being infected or in. I don't know what you'd call it. I don't think infected is the right thing, but contaminated with the GMO stuff. I, 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 I don't know how you could keep it that way. Now, I, maybe, I, maybe there's a way. I, but the, what do you do? Spray it to get rid of the GMOs? Then you're using something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get rid. You can't. Yeah, there, there's no. I, I wish there was a spray to get rid of GMO because then we could just go spray Monsanto and make them go away. Make them go away. Yeah. <laughs> right. That would be nice. But I did speak with Mariama Cromer this morning from uh, uh, the Monsanto Tribunal, uh, and this is what she said: Preparations are in full swing. Judges and witnesses are starting to arrive today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, the physical buildup is taking place. The opening day at the People's Assembly will be overflowing with over 500 participants. Yes, volunteers. Registration has been closed because of the overwhelming enthusiasm. The venues are fully booked. So this, uh, again, it, it, it's more kind of like, you know, let's make the people aware uh, uh, and uh, people's kind of, of opinion of court going on here. Uh, but the people that are involved, even though there, there won't be legal repercussions immediately, like, okay, we found you guilty. You have to go, do, go to jail or something. Sure. That, that's not going to happen. But I, I, you're, they're, people are not going to be able to ignore this issue anymore. They're not going to be able to turn the blind eye. And I, I just don't, I don't understand how any politician or any scientist out there can go home and try to explain integrity and honesty to their children why yeah. they're touting this poison and they're spreading the spewing the lies on social media that they do. Well, I just, just don't understand just that at all. follow the money. You know when a politician's lying because his lips are moving. Aaron, um, we're going to have to get to a traffic report quickly. How do we get, a, get in touch with you at Alliday? Uh, okay, real quick. Judge Judy should be the next moderator on the uh, uh, debate. Dan Glickman, former Agri Agriculture Secretary. We ought not force feed that stuff to people is what he said about the GMO stuff. 775. 2309915 on the World Wide Web. It's www.alladayllc.com. Let's have a great day, folks. Let's all be safe. Okay? All right. You have yourself a big bowl of tofu, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. There it is. Uh... <laughs> right. Bye bye. It's <laughs> Aaron. Out in Silver Springs, where the, the, count, the city's official food is tofu. Let's go from there, too. There's a hold up in the Bronx. It really isn't tofu, ladies and gentlemen, because I hate that stuff. Hey, tune in tomorrow. We'll have more from the updates from The Hague on the Monsanto Tribunal. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all have a great day. Let's all be safe out there.